Hello, beautiful people. So I'm finally back at home and I know that a lot of you guys are asking for an update for my sister's house. So even if it's raining, it's a Sunday today and it's raining. Plus we have two karaoke's going on in the background. So hopefully this video will be okay. All right. Now I'm going to give you a quick update not quick but i'm gonna give you a tour of my sister's house on how does it look now after i was gone for about two weeks now for one week they were able to work on the house because we still have a few materials left and then the week after that they have to stop because there are no more materials all right so we're gonna give you a tour so come on come in get inside all right, now this is not new to you. This is their living area. I know you can know what's lacking. <laughs> so they don't have any sofa. As you guys can see, um, it is very clean and nothing is going on in here. It looks very empty. But yeah, um, for future plants, we need to have here a sofa set. It can be a bamboo sofa set so that it is inexpensive. But yeah, for now, this is how it looks. And now if you look at here, we have a lot of chairs. So these chairs are actually coming from their house in the previous one. So yeah, they just um, brought it here so that they have chairs to sit down on while they're chilling or eating or stuff like that. Now here we have a plug and yeah, they got laptop right here, this small cabinet. And yeah, they just have something going on over here. Now, originally I wanted to have this area become the kitchen. Now I wanted to put the countertop over here, but um right now i feel like it was the best idea to have the kitchen over there so that they have a lot of space in this area now if you guys can see um if we are going to put like a sofa set here like one big one and then one little like two on the other side and then a small table then i think it would not be as spacious so we can imagine come on scarlet let's imagine come here Oh no. Okay, I'm not going to give you chocolate na lang. Okay, we if we're going to imagine we have a sofa set right here, the TV will be over there and yeah, um it's not going to be as spacious. So, for now, it looks really empty <laughs> because there's nothing inside. Okay, now we're going to go here in their kitchen. I think this is where we left off that they were working on. Let me switch on. How do I switch it on here? This one? okay so this is their kitchen guys all right it is very messy isn't it <laughs> um they actually put a floor mat um in the bottom on the ground so they chose the color brown which is good because it actually matches the tiles that they have in the living and dining area so anyway we have here this window which doesn't have a window so they just covered it for now with this um, plywood they put the table over here so this is where they do their breakfast dinner and lunch whatever we have rice cooker they have this um, little shelves to put some of their stuff and then they have this fridge from their previous house and oh my goodness can i have this one honey no why Please. No. This one is my favorite though. Okay, just one. Just one? <laughs> Can I have these all? No. Uh, where did you get the avocados? I love avocados. All right, so they have their groceries above the fridge. So this is how it looks. Now on the Okay, so on the other side, we have here this another window which is good so that whenever you're cooking, then uh, you will have a breeze and then all of that smoke will come out over there. Now we have here the countertop and as you guys can see, we've used the leftover tiles um, from the living area. So they've actually made use of it. So this is how it looks. It's not totally finished as what you guys can see because it's not being sealed in this section. And yeah, there's no cabinets on the bottom. But one of the things you can do is actually put a curtain right here so that um, you know, you can use curtain as a uh, temporary 
uh, closure of this area so it doesn't look as messy but yeah we have here that did we not get a sink i mean the tap for the water okay so yeah that's the current situation it is very messy guys but this is how it looks um we did not paint it yet is there no more paint no more paint really okay so no more paint that's why it's not been painted no more yeah no more skim coat as well so yeah after this we have to do skim coating and then that's when you proceed with painting but yeah since we ran out of those two that's why it's like this all right now where is the switch for the over here okay so this is the the toilet and bathroom okay so this is how it looks now if you are going to uh look at inside we've already installed their toilet over there and then we have there a big tub of water because the shower has not been connected yet so there is no running water getting into the house so it's manual for now so they use that um, tub to put water in and then you can flush manually and then so we have another window over there so that it doesn't smell. So Scarlett's doing her do, doing her thing. It doesn't smell. Eee. Okay, so this is how it looks. And then Scarlett uses, I mean, she chose the pink. Why do you like the pink door? Because, because what? No. You don't know? You like it. See, we chose the pink because of you. Ta-da! Okay, so yeah, this is their toilet. It's not totally finished, but it can be used. So that's how it looks. All right, now let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to their bedroom. Now, I just want to give a big a shout out and thank you to my sister's boss. Uh, my sister works as a secretary near Super Doctors and her boss, uh, which are doctors, um, their wife and husband, um, Dr. Kilio, thank you so, so much, and Dr. Sheila as well. So they actually gave my sister some cabinets and bed foam, right? Bed foam and bed frame as well. So one here and one in Papa's bedroom. But for now, let me show you their bedroom. Ta-da! Let me turn on the lights. Okay, so this is how it looks. So we'll start here. If you guys can see, we have here this cabinet. So this cabinet is coming from my sister's boss. So this is how it looks. And then we have this Orokan, very Filipino. We use Orokan <laughs> in all of Filipino household. So we have this from their previous house. And then we have another cabinet over here. Wow, you have a lot of storage for your stuff. So another cabinet right there um, from her boss. And then they have this bed frame. So this is good. I think this is a double bed. Good for two people. And then Scarlet B is jumping around. It's going to wreck the cabinet. The cabinet, the bed frame. Honey, you cannot jump. It's going to ruin the thing. Okay, so they also gave them this foam, so that's very kind of them. Um, yeah, it actually fits perfectly with the size, so this is how it looks. Panga, come here. Are you happy with your room? Yes! Do you sleep here? Yes! How do you sleep? Where do you sleep? Here? Here. In the middle? Wow! And where is Mama? There, and then where's Papa? Wow, and then you sleep so good? Do you sleep so good? Yes! Wow, very good, Mano. Oy. Did you say thank you to Tita Doc for your bed? Yes. Can you say thank you, Tita Doc? Thank you, Tita Doc. Say thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I have a room now. I have a room now. Now like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. My YouTube channel. YouTube channel. <laughs> now don't forget to smile. To big smile. And be happy. Be happy. Love you. Love you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is how their bedroom looks like. They have, I mean, you can actually put this cabinet outside so that it's not as cramped. You know, it's like one, two, three cabinets in this really small room. But actually, it's fine because you don't necessarily have to stay here. You can stay here only to sleep and you have a big living 
area so you can just go there if you want to chill or whatnot but yeah i think this is an okay space um with all of the cabinets i'm happy that all the cabinets actually fit i thought it's not gonna fit yeah that's so crazy okay so now we're gonna go to papa's bedroom okay so now we are in papa's bedroom it is very small guys okay just a heads up now if you open it you cannot open it fully because he has now a bed frame inside so come on let's get inside okay so this is how it looks Ta -da. <laughs> all right so um this bed frame was also given by my sister's boss so shout out and thank you so much doc sheila and doc tequilio this is how it looks and yeah papa actually doesn't like to sleep with the phone because he finds it very hot um he doesn't like this red one but yeah at least this bed frame fits exactly in this very small room so that's good um he doesn't have any cabinet yet where he puts his stuff so this is where he puts his stuff guys it's actually over there um yeah he's got some of his shoes hats um his t-shirts and all that his perfume that i got for her for him is actually there that bag is mine um so yeah the plug is there and let's see um i think we're gonna have to put a small tv over there for him or yeah not sure where we're gonna do it because oh he wants radio so yeah maybe we are going to give um papa we're gonna get papa a radio so that he can listen to some music and some news while he is sleeping and also we can um get him a um, electric fan so papa needs cabinet electric fan radio and yeah he's happy with it so yeah, this is where he sleeps sometimes. Um, he still goes to my grandma's most of the time actually. So that's why he's not here today. But yeah, this is good. Um, at least he has a place to chill that he can call his own and he can have his own privacy. And yeah, hello. Why are you wearing Tata's hat? Do you think you're cool? Do you, are you cool? You say, I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> you're so funny honey so yeah this is the current situation guys of the house um it's not been fully finished but yeah it's livable they have been living here for the last two weeks right two three weeks so yeah slowly but surely um we can work on it um you know in doing the kitchen especially and the toilet area but yeah um this is how it looks thank you so so much to all of the people that have watched all of the updates that i have and all of the vlogs that i have for my sister's house building i absolutely cannot believe that we've gone this far um that the house is here and that they are living here so anyway let me go out and show you where they actually cook so um it is right here <laughs> sometimes my sister cooks in the kitchen area where she uses butane but most of the time this is where she cooks Ta -da! <laughs> so as you guys can see there is something over here what's inside no nothing oh oh my gosh there's a fish there's a fish inside. Do you want to see? Ta da! <laughs> okay, so in the countryside, it is very common to cook using wood. So before, when I was young, this is where we would normally cook our dish. We didn't really have the, you know, luxury to get like a butane even or a gas stove and whatnot. So most of the people that are living around here are actually using like this wood and yeah they cook outside which is actually good because then your house is not gonna smell and then aside from that yes aside from that this is where they put all their water as well so we have here a lot of tubs this barrel is mine someone actually got it <laughs> so yeah we store water right here so sometimes um, this is where my sister will take a bath or shower before going to work at the same time this is where she does her laundry so if you guys can see she did her laundry earlier and we have this clothes line to put the laundry in so yeah this is how it looks guys now um 
if you look if you guys will look at the house from afar you can really tell that it's been done but the inside especially the kitchen and toilet is not totally done but yeah so far so good i'm just happy that they are now able to live here and that we're close to each other papa has his own room as well so that's good he sometimes come here um to sleep and chill and whatnot i met him I mean, we saw each other yesterday. I was not able to vlog it, but yeah, we just um, say hi and hello and hug each other. But um, yeah, so far, this is the update, guys. Right, so now you guys have seen my sister's house now we're back here in the house because it's Sunday today so it's eating time for everyone so they're making dugo dugo outside in my garage area um, dugo dugo is the blood of the pig and over here the girls we are gonna be having hot cake <laughs> I love hot cake I've been craving for one so yesterday when we went to the grocery I wanted some hot cake and aside from that we have avocados as well I was asking Leia if they still have avocados she said the tree don't have any fruit anymore so we have here these avocados from my sister's old place and those are the ingredients for our hot cake all right the rain has been on and off in the countryside guys it was so crazy it was raining and then it stopped and sunny again and rainy again but yeah i cannot wait to eat let's eat some hot cake All right, lunch for MJ. <laughs> I know we have a lot of food, so we have here pancake, hot cake, but still, I want rice. And guys, you guys remember my pork adobo last night. This is how it looks. I heated it in the microwave, and I told my sister that this is going to be my, my style since I'm now alone here in the house. So I'm going to be preparing the food at one time and then I'll just reheat it for my meals. Guys, let's eat. Bon appetit. Scarlett, do you want to eat? No. Why? You don't want? Just because. Hmm? Just because. <laughs> So, I understand much in English. Really? <laughs> <laughs>
Hello guys, it became super gloomy. Well, it's actually drizzling now. My sister just finished washing Ruby and Ruby is squeaky clean now. So anyway, yesterday I got a bunch of <laughs> candies. So I have here Mentos Fit Bar. Another Mentos in different flavor. This one is Draggies. The other one, oh, it's Eucalyptus. This is Fear Mint. I have here White Rabbit. This one I grew up eating because this one's really good. I have here Press as well. And that's pretty much it. Oh no, I have here Tic Tac. And I have Skittles as well. Ta da! So sometimes when I'm driving, especially to the countryside if, or if it's a long drive, I get super sleepy because this is an automatic car. Like, well, I could not really drive manual, right? But you don't really like do stuff like that. So it gets boring, um, especially if you're uh, not talking to anyone. So yeah, I always need to have something in the car that I could munch on that will keep me awake. That's why I got them. Sometimes also my passengers get dizzy, especially if it's bro or sometimes bingo. So yeah, at least we got here some candies to give them. All right, now we're gonna put Ruby inside because the rain, it's so crazy. Earlier it was very sunny and now it is raining. Scarlett wanted to um, uh, have and use the swimming pool. Why am I catching my breath? Guys, I'm so unfit. I feel like I need to exercise, especially my tummy. I was taking bikini photos in Bali and I was so ashamed with my tummy. Like, I don't have the confidence to even post. <laughs> I've been holding my breath <laughs> so that the tummy is gonna be hidden. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see the aftermath of the hold my breath pose. Okay. All right. Let's... Um, let's put Ruby inside. We go. Ah, the weather is actually making me really sleepy. <laughs> like, I'm so sleepy right now. Uh, bang. Okay, we're here. Oops. 